Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Green here. Welcome back to Sucker for Love First Day. In the last video, we covered the uh, all the possible endings we can do for uh, Chapter 2. And I went back over. That's why I didn't really edit it in the post. How essentially the, the two endings of either going out in a friend zone or basically getting broken up, breaking up, and getting a kiss and stuff. That pretty much played the same way with like maybe like one word difference. So honestly, it was not worth changing in post. But in any event, um, let us continue on to now chapter three. We should have all three unlocked. We unlocked one in chapter one, two in chapter two. Now we are ready for chapter three. Chapter three, Neon Lafotep's Catastrophe. How could I look at that and not say that's adorable? Fear of the unknown is the single strongest fear of mankind. Terrors from beyond the borders of knowledge. Whoa, time out. You are doing the introduction? You're doing the intro. You're even stealing the intro from me? Okay, go for it. And yet, the truest horror has been in mankind's cradle since the beginning and walks the earth amongst us now. For true evil exists not in the devil unseen, but the devil seen and unrecognized. When you meet her, you realize that tucking away the rest of the horrors to the unseen corners of the stars is a blessing. A shade of a thousand manifestations, each more horrific than the last. She serves only one whose chaotic and phantasmagorical wishes she obeys with extreme prejudice. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. Oh, hi there. Wow, you, we're just getting right to the point, are we? You are tall. Like, an average ceiling is maybe close to about maybe eight. Is about anywhere from eight to ten feet or higher. I think even high, I think even higher. I think like um, I think like the average. I don't know really the full extent of the average room, but I know it's yeah. I think it's like eight to twelve feet maybe. Well, well, well. You're the one that Lunetta calls darling and that Esther calls dearest, aren't you? Yes. Why, hello there, Neon Lithotep. I, I, this dread. It's like when I first met Lunetta. This time it's sustained like a state of constantly being breathless. The very air has become unfamiliar and alien to me. Saturated with infinite malevolence, it's impossible to breathe. The very veil has been pierced and the outer cosmos has revealed this limitless cruelty in the form of this avatar of insidious implication. Its very presence assails my mind, turning it against itself and all that is decent there. At the terminal precipice I learned a terror not only haunts, it speaks. Speak up. I'm an older god, so I'm a little hard of hearing. Are you or are you not the human that has been dating my nieces? Oh, they're your nieces! Normally I'd have an ounce of defiance in me. I demand that she introduce herself first. But now I feel it's my very, it in my very bones. I'm being talked down to by something far beyond me. I don't know, with, with how you've displayed yourself, prostrating yourself in front of Esther to be a bit of a masochist, there's people into that. I can think of a few people. Uh, I... I... I am... Good. Would you like a cup of hot tea? A cold glass of water? You, you're offering me something to drink? You've been through a lot. I just wanted to ensure you're at ease for now. No, no, I just meant it's hard for you to be a guest in my room and offer me something. Are you certain this is your room? Well, what's wrong with it? The very floor beneath my feet feels mercurial and unreliable, shifting nightmarishly in non-Euclidean vertigo. Who, who are you? I don't have a name. I'm called Dog in this. Who am I? I am the obscure, the unutterable. I am the crying chaos. 
when mankind pushes out into the unknown, I am the unknown that pushes back. But just like my troublesome nieces, you can just call me Auntie Nyan Nyan. Okay, Auntie Nyan Nyan. I. Uh, unlike with Lynetta or Esther, I can't overcome the unnerving presence overwhelming my senses. I feel violently sick. <laughs> Never been visited by someone so high up in rank as me, have you? Silly question. There's only one that outranks me, and if you had met her, neither of us would still exist. Omnius vistas of a terror open from every corner of my mind. I want to run, shrieking and railing, and alas, I have nowhere to go. My, my, you're still holding on, eh? I expected you to last long enough to chat, but it seems you're nearing your limit. Let me offer you some words of assurance. I'm the last outer god you'll ever have to see. But what do you what do you mean? I mean that things are about to return to abnormal. <laughs> Eldritch horrors will return to being obscure boogeymen that stalk unbeknownst to their prey. The veil shall be lowered again until the gate opens and mankind is eradicated. In other words, you'll never see me or my family ever again. But why? Why do you want to split us up? Did you know that even amongst gods there are things that are strictly taboo? You see, whenever mankind starts exploring too far too quickly, you accelerate the end of all things. So we appear to slow things back down. We scare you back to the safety of the familiar. We whisper evils and destructive mantras to the most dangerous of your kind to ensure progress slows. Because the longer you stay afraid, the longer you live. You know, I don't usually dip into my the Lovecrafting lore I know. At least not for these videos, because I haven't done it yet. But uh, technically, this is true. The only god, the only eldritch being above uh, Neon Lithotep or Neo Lithotep, as it's the source material is, is the blind idiot god Azathoth, and Azathoth is literally the responsible for everything existing. If Azathoth wakes up, everything ends. Same logic where when Lynetta woke up, we stopped existing. We are all dreams of Azathoth. So what uh, Auntie Neon Neon here is, is suggest is. Uh, suggesting is that if we keep exploring the unknown, we may eventually awaken beings that will just destroy all of existence to begin with. And doing that might be not in her plan. So the longer we don't explore and slow down, the longer we live, which is an interesting thing. Cruel to be kind, maybe? I'm not sure. To put it simply, once mankind isn't afraid of us anymore, everything will come to an end. Humans are doomed to explore, and once mankind makes the last discovery, once mankind reaches the edge of the map, you'll fall off. So if there's one thing that is certain amidst this infinite cosmos, it's that for all of time, our relationship is shepherd and livestock, as we set the pace to the slaughterhouse. In that context, outer gods and humans being romantically involved is beyond taboo. It's upsetting the natural order and is a conflict of interest, to say the least. Yeah, because she might not want... Like, Lynetta actually was in the good, good um, alternative ending. No, I think it was followed through. She was like she wanted to keep sleeping or hold it off. So, to spare us. Now, all of this I can forgive, because my troublesome nieces led you astray. Fair enough. I know you didn't mean to participate in such a grave taboo, right? I mean, I didn't even know that was possible. I, I guess I didn't know. Good. <clears throat> then we can work together to ensure it'll never happen again. You're familiar with these books, yes? Oh, wow. I had one made for just this occasion. It's a very nice book. Do what needs to be done. Perform the banish moo ritual. 
Spanish Moo. You know, Loletta mentioned that Moo... So Moo is a place, not a person? Or is it like Esther, where it's a person, place, and thing? What? What, what, will, you, what will it do? <laughs> Moo is the bookmaker, so it will prevent eldritch gods and humans from dating ever again. No more books can be made, and the entity responsible for bridging the gap between our realms will be destroyed. Oh, so Moo is a... okay. Our relationship will return to strictly business, in a manner of speaking. I... I don't want... Do not force me to remind you the grave seriousness of the situation. I promise you've never seen anything like what I can do. Oh, wow, that's a beautiful cosmos. No, oh, no, no. Okay, it's all legible chicken scratch. So sorry she forced me to make this book. She said she'd spare me if I let you banish me instead. To destroy me, draw this symbol, enchant this. I hope the love will be your black fire until the darkness. Okay, so that's probably like an alternative thing. So draw the symbol. So we'll do this, just to follow the thing. And just chant this symbol. So you are as wise as you are lecherous. That is good. I expected you to be an insolent, uncompromising philanderer. You can imagine my disappointment to have found you actually quite agreeable. Then all is settled. The bridge between our realms is severed for good. Can I go home now? This may look like your room, but I promise that you've traveled a long way from home. Far enough so that you will find it quite impossible to return. Wait, hold on. I, I did the spell. I'm no danger to you anymore. I know that very well. You've just seen the precipice of the abyss and flinched. There's nothing left of you to be concerned with. However, that banishment ritual made it so neither you nor I can travel to the realm of man ever again. Just a precaution. Call me Thurow. You will stay here where I can keep my eye on you, where any romantic escapades of yours will not endanger us all. But... 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 but I... Rarely do I bother myself with the affairs of humans, but it was a smooch, wasn't it? The treasure for which you traded your life how many times? Curious. Then allow me. Whoa! Is this sufficient? That's all you need to smooch me, right? Three hearts and a big glowing button. Whoa, okay, do not break the fourth wall on me. I am well versed in human courtship, but am curious as to what made my nieces bicker over you so incessantly. <laughs> now that you don't pose a threat. There's a cougar joke in there. Not just because you're- actually, it's mostly because you're a cat girl, but there's a cougar joke in there. I wanted to say it before any comments to it. Probably not the first to say it either. Now then, come to me, human. If you don't mind smooching an old cat like me. Alright, let's see this ending. Wow. Yep. That's the ending. Oh, that's it. Okay, so I guess there's another ending that I have to try to defy her.
You didn't think I was gonna turn my back on you, did you? This would be we can beat her together. There's still hope for love. Aw, moo. Wear your ritual amulet. Chant. Alright. Don't I have to wear a mask at some point? Let's see. If holds appear on your body, you're cursed by this. Looks like this. Holds will multiply until you are no more. Wear the mask. Stand in front of a mirror. Chant until the holes are filled. Alright. A plague. Controversial. A golden plague appears means likely to swarm. Immediately the right gray. Grab your knife. A single bite will cause process. Agonizing short death after. Knife not for self-defense. Okay. Uh, content. If the lights go out and won't turn on, you're cursed by the horror. There's no such thing as such sounds or shapes in the shadows. It must come. Then draw this and say three times. Caustic humors. If you feel a burning sensation, your flesh begins to melt. You cause my humor. Put on the mask and robes as quickly as possible to preserve your form. With the mask on, you wash your face and you will not you do see if you do not wear the mask. Wash until the burning evades. Same. If you hear something strange that is getting louder with time, it's not imagination. It can kill you. Go outside. Encounter a spell. Never trust anything written on the wall. Don't mm -hmm. anywhere in the room. Grant you ensure that they uh, do not touch your chalkboard. Chant three times. If you hear something suspicious, ch check your window. It, so do not go outside, no matter what you hear. Do not open your door for it. <coughs> you know, scratching reflections. If you see something strange, run away from there. Do not make eye contact or touch the mirror in any way. Return to your bathroom. Turn off all the lights. Reflections can't exist when there's no light gets in the room, there's nothing you can do. Okay. Counter silence. If you are unable to speak or perform anything, do not try to scream. Grab the knife and go in the bathroom mirror. It's hot. Uh -huh. If you start to turn invisible while you move, you can turn away while you're looking away. Don't bother hiding. Pretend to be alive and stand still in the room as well as possible. Hold your breath. Do not move as much as a finger while they pass through. Routinely check your doors are still are still closed. If they are ajar, close them. If you have any moments to do so, enter your house. You won't leave without taking something with them. However, you wear a mask and have a life horn. There, if you walk away unharmed, he has taken your deal. If this will only protect you once. And final fear: there's no telling what she'll do this he when she will do this hex upon you. If she's more about this. Inside your home, there's nothing. I'm sorry, we gave it our best shot. I hope this comes swiftly. Okay. Alright, I'm fully stocked. Uh, before we begin, I might as well remove the poster just in case. Uh, let me have a chat with Auntie Nanyan. -Nan. Well, what are you waiting for? Perform the ritual. I had a question first. What is it? How come you're so tall? The other gods I've met didn't have so much trouble standing in my bedroom. <laughs> I'm not always this tall. Sometimes I'm shorter, sometimes I'm taller. I have over a thousand forms. And th this one is a two-story tall cat girl in high heels? Thirty-seven of my forms are. Oh, wow. What exactly are you? Well, when it comes to the unknown, trying to explain something is a good way to ensure you'll never understand it. H huh? Let me make an example. How about love? Why don't you try to explain love to me? Uh, well, I guess it's like chemicals in the brain that tell me to instinctively pass on my genes? Is that what it felt like to date my nieces? To smooch them? Some mere chemicals in your skull? Hell no! Do you see now? The more you try to explain love on a technical level, the further you get from what it actually feels like. And the more you try to understand what I am, the less you'll know. I guess from a, uh, a sense that do that does kind of make sense. Hey, I... You ask far too many questions. Sometimes things are best left unexplained. Heed this advice. Sometimes the unknown is best kept at arm's length. What do you mean? Do you know where time came from? How it started, or why it only moves forward? 
not the faintest clue. But you probably wouldn't have any trouble telling me what time it is, right? Even if you don't know what time actually is or where it came from. That's what I mean. Arms linked. Me and my family. Let's do this. You may do near a little tapia near that fat form. Looking for this dog? Oh shit. You may be capable of pulling a fast one on my nieces, but nothing escapes my gaze. Well, okay, wait, we could just give that back. I think you'll find it quite impossible to cast that counter evil without this amulet. Now, my stray sheep. It's time I shepherd you back in line. But first... Health? Flesh becoming porous. Uh Neon Tap Nidaskir Vel Vel Del Port Neon Niso Tep Nid Vantis Vin Del Port Neon Nito Tep Nirvan Vin Hin Del Port. Do you believe your mind is still on your side? Do you still trust it? We'll see who it sides with soon. I've walked the earth while man was still rocking in its cradle. I know not only what scares you, but what oh, I'm sorry to pay. every single one of your ancestors. Starting to turn invisible. Don't bother moving. Okay. Uh, am I supposed to do anything? It says don't move. Here's an eye opener for you. If there is this wraith appearing, okay. Don't move. Wait, what? Hold your breath, do not move, pretend to be alive, and stand as still as possible in a well-lit room. That was it. Scratching glass. Scratching glass, scratching glass. Ch routine doors are ajar. Uh, uh, no telling what the hex is. Final fur. I'm about to fucking die! Scratching glass, scratching glass. Scratching glass. Oh shit. Uh, scratching glass. Uh, retreat into the. Do make contact, touch the mirror, change your bedroom, turn off all the lights, reflections can't exist where there's no light. I can't read this shit! Get to room that's good. <laughs> oh, god damn it.
Sí. <risa> Oh God! We've only begun to lift the veil. Shut up. Let's see how you handle the next one, Dom. I've walked the earth while man was still rocking in its cradle. I know not only what scares you, but what terrified every single one of your ancestors. Okay, just had to stand still in a well-lit room. Alright. So if I hear glass, go to the mirror. For whatever reason, that technical difficulty thing didn't take another heart out of me. Any second now. Here's an eye opener for you. Okay, so I got a well lit room. Okay, it's moving on. Do not move. I expected those to be a challenge. Oh my god, they were! These next horrors won't be so easy to dispel. Your voice won't be heard again. That's silence. Go to the rich and I run to the bathroom. Starting to have trouble. Are these horrors becoming too challenging for you to withstand? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> oh, you can't begin to imagine the horrors I can show you. And soon, you won't have to imagine. Shadows on the wall, shadows on the wall, shadows on the wall. Haven't surrendered yet, dog? I, I'm impressed. Thank you. You've got backbone for a human of your age. Oh, well, thank you. But I doubt your will to survive will last much longer. What's that outside your window? Okay, that's the writing on the wall. Writing on the wall, uh, check the mirror often to wash writing off your face. Okay. Let me no. 
I know that's not you. Yeah, my hair boss, you bought a horn. I let you become a legend. human thank you in such a short time becoming I can't believe it you're no average human yeah I'm not but you still can't escape me she must be running out of tricks by now the ultimate wrath of the clawing chaos is upon you okay final battle hold fast and prepare yourself doll I've lasted this long. I'm not stopping now. I, I, I'm not afraid. <laughs> then you lack imagination. There is no escape. <laughs> He's starting, he's starting, he's starting, he's starting. Don't lose your concentration now. He's starting, 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 he's You must be a winter, 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 Your window. Yarmir Halfan Huta Sweeter Hinder Hood Yarmir Hilton Sintan Han Fan 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 Mir hal hita swig dar hon dar hin tan tin hon. Oh shit! Posture's flesh. Posture's flesh. Okay. Mir hal hita swig dar hon dar hin tan tin hon. 
You! You're still standing? How? In fact, the longer this has been going on, you've seemed more and more resolved. It's not possible. There's no emotion stronger than fear, and no fear more powerful than fear of the unknown. Are you seriously going to have this debate in the bathroom? I feel like these were randomly generated, because I feel like this should be a conversation ended in the, um, in the bedroom. But all right, let's do this. That's not true. Humans don't fear the unknown. Never have. If you think we have, you haven't been paying attention. Even sailors, the most superstitious humans to ever walk the earth, set sail to the edge of the world. They were sure it was flat and inhabited by sea monsters. We've been inventors, explorers, astronauts, hell, we take holidays to places we've never been for fun. You're not even stuttering anymore. Why aren't you cowering before me? Because you were wrong, Auntie Nyan Nyan. There's one emotion stronger than fear. There's one feeling that every living thing knows, and it's way stronger than fear. It, it can't be. It's love. No, fool. It is lust. What? You think the male praying mantis knows fear while he's getting some? Hell no. Ridiculous. You're saying pure lust is keeping you from being scared of me? Yeah. Power boners. <laughs> Ever hear of the suspension bridge effect? They say when two people face danger together, they fall in love. Not when one of them is the danger. You, don't you understand the cruel indifference of the infinite cosmos? Your world, your reality, everything you know and love, it's all meaningless and could vanish in an instant. Even as we speak, your sun spins around the precipice of terminal oblivion. Ha! Idiot! The only thing that the sun spins around is the Earth and every human on it! And that's not all. There's more you don't realize. You really think I'm meaningless because I'm human, right? You think I'm the lowest of the low? An insignificant speck not worthy of any attention? And yet here I am, in your dream! <gasps> I've got that right, don't I, Auntie Nyan Nyan? If I'm here with you, it's because you're dreaming about me! It means I'm in your head just as you're in mine! I think the truth is that you're terrified of me! You're terrified of the speed of which I'm meeting the unknown and planting a big wet one on it! I'm terrifying enough to have invaded your dreams after all, right? You've come face to face with the greatest threat to your power, and nothing you can throw at me will stop him! And after all this, after meeting Lanetta, serving Esther's whim, and even being subjected to the worst you have to offer, I gotta say, it was all pretty fun. Now tell me, does this sound like it's my nightmare, or is this yours? It's my win, Auntie Nyan Nyan. No, it can't be. You think you can turn the tables on me? I already have. You're the second most powerful god, and you fear me. It's only a matter of time before I date every god you know, and I'm going to leap into the great unknown cosmos and smooch that too! Starting with you. Pucker up, Auntie Nyan Nyan. You burned it. Oh, no! I scared her so much it forced her awake. He... He... Escaped from me. A human too lustful to fear anything. Could such a thing even exist? What horror. As soon as any of us dreams again, he undoubtedly will return to haunt our hearts once more. Oh, I'm never getting a good night's sleep with him on the loose. Aw, oh, try to sleep. Auntie Nyan Nyan! Aw, oh, that's it. Aw, oh, that's the ending! You know, I'm, I'm surprised she didn't do the insect swarm. 
But the fact that it ended in the bathroom, I feel like it could have ended in the bedroom, so I feel like that one is just randomly generated. But in any event, that actually was pretty good. I, uh... It's actually really good. I, um, I really like this. This has been a really good game. Yeah, this was definitely... I, I think this was a really good game. I honestly I greatly enjoyed it. I feel bad that there wasn't much to it, but I really hope that they um, add to it. There are plenty more. Because I know there's uh, fan artwork of at least two others, and I think those were... Um, I mean, they made the mention of the grandmother, who basically is supposed to be uh, Shogunigurath, the goat with a thousand young, etc. And I think there was another one that's supposed to show Azathoth itself, and I feel like that one will be the real final boss to contend with. But in any event, this has been definitely a really good game. I greatly enjoyed it. I think this was I think this initially started as like a fan project that just basically expanded outwards, hence why it was so short. But I have to say that this has definitely been up there as one of my uh, a very nice um, uh, I don't know what you classify this as. I, it was a click game primarily. It was pretty limited in its scale. It didn't really have much in terms of dating aspect of it. But it's definitely up there as a nice, uh, adorable little uh, dating simulator, if you could call it that, that I've had, that I've played in a long time. So I think this is uh, definitely something I could enjoy. Oh yeah, this this was great. This this was definitely a um, this is a game I greatly uh, could enjoy, and I really I really would recommend this to most pe to a lot of people. It was short, but that only means really you could just give it a nice play. Hell, you could probably play and finish 100 percent of it in like the afternoon or something. But in any event, it's still I liked it. I liked it. Sucker for love, first date. Yeah, the songs are pretty beat. It has a couple issues. Sometimes sound kind of mixes together, but these are small, small things at best. Uh, but in any event, thank you all so much for watching. Share, subscribe, let me know what you think. Leave comments below, and I'll be with you next time. Thank you, and goodbye.